is Taylor Swift. <laughs> Did you really? Hey, man, I don't... Did you really have your phone number ready hey, on a friendship bracelet to give to Taylor Swift? I said what Swift? I said, and I meant what I said when I said it. You shot your shot, and, huh, And man? you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear. <laughs> I think that it would be wonderful to to end up with the right person. I, that's, that's how I believe in it. Taylor Swift, the queen of heart-tugging melodies, is about to spill the beans on the moment she fell head over heels for Travis. It's a tale as old as time, but with a twist of modern romance. Travis? He's that guy who pulled out all the stops, tried really hard, and well, he got her. So buckle up for a story where persistence meets serendipity, and where Taylor's heart couldn't resist the charm of Travis. It's a love story that's not just about fame, but about two souls connecting in the most unexpected of ways. But before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss out on any new videos. It's free and helps us tremendously bring out new content for your enjoyment. So let's rewind back to July 2023, when things started heating up between Swift and Kelsey. Picture this, the NFL star, Kelsey, caught Taylor's Eras tour at Arrowhead Stadium, his own turf where he rocks it for the Kansas City Chiefs. He was spotted chilling in his private box, soaking up the vibes of Taylor's tunes and even swapping friendship bracelets with fans. Now, here's the kicker. Kelsey had this grand plan to slip Taylor a bracelet with his digits on it, but alas, the stars didn't align. I was kind of bummed he spilled on his podcast. Turns out Taylor doesn't do the whole chit-chat thing before or after her shows. Gotta save that voice for her epic 44-song set list. So yeah, I missed my shot to hand her my homemade bling. Tough break, Kelsey, one person tweeted. I was just re-watching the New Heights clip of Travis saying he was butthurt. He couldn't give Taylor the bracelet he made for her, and now I'm wondering if he ever teases her about that story. Personally, I would until the day we died. It's kind of cute. So, fast forward to November 2023, and Kelsey spills the beans on how he managed to catch Taylor's eye after the whole bracelet fiasco. Turns out he had a little help from some well-placed connections in Taylor's circle. Yeah, there were definitely some insiders rooting for me. Kelsey confessed to WSJ Magazine. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to see us together? He even found out later that Taylor herself was in on the plot, reaching out to him directly. But get this, not only did he have some undercover agents in Taylor's camp, but even a few members of the Swift family were in on the action. I might be in hot water for this, Kelsey chuckled. But when Taylor came to Arrowhead, they hooked her up with the VIP treatment, even letting her cousins roam around, snapping pics in front of my locker. Talk about a sign. Looks like Kelsey had a few angels in his corner, helping him score some major points with Taylor. Well, it seems like there were quite a few potential cupids in Swift and Kelsey's love story, given their shared social circles. One prime suspect could be actor Miles Teller, who's tight with both of them. Remember that golfing practice session in 2022 with Kelsey, Teller, and Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes? That could have been the perfect setting for some matchmaking scheming. And let's not forget Teller's cameo in Swift's I Bet You Think About Me music video, where he appeared alongside his wife, Keely Sperry. They're clearly tight with Taylor. Plus, they all hung out at Taylor's Eras tour in New Jersey in May 2023 rubbing shoulders with football star Aaron Rodgers. With all these connections, it's not hard to imagine Teller or someone in their circle nudging Taylor and Kelsey a little closer together. After all, what are friends for if not to play matchmaker? Another potential matchmaker in Swift and Kelsey's orbit could be none other than one of Taylor's own backup dancers from her heiress tour, Cameron Saunders. Now Cameron's not just any dancer. He's gained quite the following for his funky, bejeweled dance moves during the concerts. But here's where it gets interesting. Cameron happens to be the brother of football player Kalen Saunders. And guess who Kalen played for? That's right, the Kansas City Chiefs, right alongside Kelsey from 2019 to 2022. With that kind of close connection to both Taylor's tour and the Chiefs, who's to say Cameron didn't drop a hint or two about Kelsey to Taylor? It's all starting to make sense how these two found their way to each other, isn't it? Well, well, well. It seems like the plot thickens with yet another potential matchmaker in the mix, NFL broadcaster Aaron Andrews. Picture this. Back in August, during an episode of her podcast, Aaron didn't hold back. She straight up asked Taylor to give her buddy Travis a chance, saying, please try our friend Travis, he is fantastic. And she wasn't done there. Aaron even went as far as to appeal to Taylor directly, saying, Taylor, I know we're not the best of friends, we're not even friends, but I consider you one. Take us up on this. 
go on a date with this guy. Do it for America. Now, that's some serious matchmaking enthusiasm. Fast forward to when Taylor and Kelsey actually got together, and Erin couldn't help but reflect on her podcast moment during an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers. She joked about her pivotal role in their romance, saying, Travis was very open about not getting to meet her, and so we were just being really candid because we love him. We're good friends of his, and we just were like, Taylor, date this guy. I mean, he's good looking. She added, he's just such a great, great guy. And so we threw it out there and they got together. Of course, we're getting all the credit now. Looks like Aaron might just have a knack for playing Cupid in the world of celebrity romance. And there was also the Kansas City Chiefs superfan and all around funny guy, Jason Sudeikis. Rumor has it that there might just be a link between him and the budding romance between Taylor and Kelsey. Why? Well, some eagle-eyed fans caught wind of Jason and Taylor cozying up over a game of Uno at one of Questlove's game nights in August, right before those Swift Kelsey romance rumors started flying. Now, Jason's got some serious street cred with the Chiefs, especially after they chipped in for his Thunder Gong charity event. But when pressed about his possible role in setting up Taylor and Kelsey, Jason played it cool, telling The Hollywood Reporter, I was thankful to Taylor just hanging out coming to do two nights of shows in Kansas City. Little did I know. Just a few months later, she'd be our adopted daughter. I don't blame her for wanting to hang out here more. I don't blame her for wanting to hang out with Travis. He's a good egg. Smooth move, Sudeikis. Keeping it mysterious while subtly hinting at that potential matchmaking prowess. Looks like everyone's got a theory about how Taylor and Kelsey found their way to each other. Thanks to their personal matchmaker, Swift did indeed make the first move and reach out to Kelsey, sparking what would become the beginning of their love story. Kelsey reminisced to WSJ, magazine about that pivotal first exchange, saying, she told me exactly what was going on and how I got lucky enough to get her to reach out. After some back and forth messaging, the duo decided to take things from the digital world to the real one and met face to face in New York. Kelsey, ever the gentleman, described their first date as simply aiming for a nice dinner and conversation, with the rest being left up to Fady. And even though there was something going on, Kelsey was also super shy about it. One fan wrote on X, this was Travis on August 2nd. The guy asked him if Taylor had reached out. He clearly avoided the question and blushed like a kid, which totally fits with what Taylor said and with what Travis said about not wanting to scare her off at first. Not everything is a conspiracy. It's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Did you really? Hey man, I don't- Did you really have your phone number ready on a friendship bracelet to give to Taylor I said what Swift? I said. And I meant what I said when I said it. You shot your shot, and, huh? And man. you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear. <laughs> Their budding romance caught fire in the public eye when Swift was spotted cheering Kelsey on at his Kansas City Chiefs football game at Arrowhead Stadium in September 2023. But little did we know, as Swift later revealed in a candid interview with Time, they were already an item by that point. Looks like their love story was already in full swing before the rest of us even caught wind of it. Taylor shared some insider details about the timeline of their blossoming romance, revealing that they actually started hanging out right after Travis playfully mentioned her on his podcast, which she found metal as hell. We actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, Taylor continued which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other. She laughed off the notion that their first public outing was their first date, saying, I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. Adding to the timeline, Kelsey chimed in to clarify that they had been seeing each other for about a month before Taylor attended her first game. He described their time together as a crazy, crazy ride. Despite attending a few more games with their celebrity friends, Taylor and Kelsey officially went public with their relationship the following month. Photographers captured them strolling hand in hand through the streets of New York City after their Saturday Night Live appearance sealing the deal on their romance for all the world to see. And ever since then, these two have been inseparable. Now, it looks like Taylor Swift's love story with Travis Kelsey isn't just playing out to the tune of her classic hit, Love Story. It's getting its very own soundtrack. According to a source at Us Weekly, Taylor has already penned at least two songs about Kelsey, capturing the essence of their romance and the journey of falling in love with him. But hold on, Swifties, because it seems like these songs won't be making it onto her forthcoming album, The Tortured Poets Department. The insider revealed that these tracks are deeply personal to Taylor and are unlikely to be shared with anyone. It's a bummer for fans eager to get a glimpse into Taylor's love life through her music. But hey, 
Some things are just meant to stay between two lovebirds. They're very special, they added. Songs are like poetry to her. Just like most people journal, Taylor writes lyrics. Her relationship with Travis has inspired her. Despite the challenges of long distance love, Taylor and Travis are making it work for now. According to a source, Taylor is eagerly counting down the days until her tour is over so she can spend more quality time with him. The insider revealed that they're madly in love, and it's clear that they're both looking forward to cherishing every moment together once their schedules align. And it's not just Tay who's obsessed. Kelsey also can't get enough of her. Taylor Swift is riding high on love with Travis Kelsey as she dazzles audiences across the globe with her heiress tour Sources close to the singer reveal that she's happier than ever and so in love. What's got her smiling brighter than stage lights? Well, it seems Taylor is absolutely smitten with Travis, especially appreciating his unabashed display of affection. According to insiders, Travis isn't shy about flaunting his love for Taylor in public. He recently jetted off to both Australia and Singapore just to catch her concerts proving he's not afraid to go the extra mile to support his superstar girlfriend. Looks like Taylor's found herself a keeper who's not afraid to wear his heart on his sleeve. Fans even shared clips of him dancing to his girlfriend singing. One fan wrote on X, bringing back Travis, Ross, and Harry, dancing at Singapore N5 because their dance moves are just immaculate. She is in a great place and having the best time performing, making music, and feeling free to live her life more openly the source adds. Travis is enjoying being on tour with Taylor and is happy to support her. Looks like the future is looking bright for Taylor and Travis. According to insiders, Taylor sees Travis as more than just a boyfriend. She views him as a true partner, someone with whom she can envision a real future. And while Travis was soaking up the sights down under, he couldn't help but share his adventures on his podcast with brother Jason. Recalling their trip to Australia, Travis couldn't contain his excitement describing it as a wild ride. He even dished about the media frenzy that ensued when he and Taylor paid a visit to the Sydney Zoo, proving that their love story continues to capture attention wherever they go. Looks like these two are in it for the long haul, with plenty of adventures and love-filled moments still to come. After his Australian escapade, Kelsey continued his globe-trotting adventure, this time making his way to Singapore. And what's a trip to Singapore without catching Taylor's concert, right? Fans were thrilled to spot Kelsey in the audience, showing his unwavering support for his girlfriend's musical endeavors. But the fun didn't stop there. Kelsey was also seen enjoying a night out on the town with Taylor and her bandmates, soaking up the vibrant energy of Singapore's nightlife scene. It seems their love knows no bounds, transcending continents and creating unforgettable memories along the way. With each new adventure, Taylor and Travis proved that they're truly a match made in music-filled heaven. And even when they went on vacation recently, the two were having the time of their lives. A source tells Entertainment Tonight, Taylor and Travis are soaking up their downtime together. They appreciate the here and now and the love they share with one another. When they're able to just chill out, they love to hang out with their friends and family, travel, see new things together, and enjoy their privacy. They are grateful to have each other along for the ride and advocate and support each other across the board. They add that the couple is enjoying this moment and also looking forward to what the future holds too. They want to continue to grow together and be happy and healthy. Their friends and family are still as supportive as ever. And then in March, it seemed Taylor and Travis had entered their nesting phase, a cozy period where they were all about those home comforts. According to insiders, they dialed down the spotlight and opted for quiet movie nights in Taylor's home theater in Los Angeles. They caught up on all the films and shows they'd missed just like any other couple would. Stepping away from the hustle and bustle of their careers, they relished in the simple joys of life, hosting intimate gatherings with Taylor's close-knit circle. It was all about quality time together, whether it was just the two of them or with friends and family. As one source aptly put it, they finally got the chance to kick back, relax, and soak up each other's company in the comfort of home. And now, these two are doing a lot of other stuff together too, such as going to Coachella. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey reportedly headed to Coachella, securing a luxurious stay at the exclusive members-only spot, the Madison Club, for the weekend. According to sources, this choice of accommodation was perfect for the couple as it offered them privacy away from prying eyes. They don't want a ton of eyes on them an insider shared. They want to be able to let their guard down and be comfortable. Apparently, Travis is a fan of desert golfing, 
and the Madison Club boasts an exceptional course. However, the main allure of their Coachella getaway was of course the festival itself. The couple had their sights set on catching performances by Lana Del Rey and Bleachers, the band fronted by Taylor's longtime collaborator, Jack Antonoff. It seems like the perfect blend of relaxation, music, and quality time for the duo. And fans are obviously psyched about it. One person wrote, how am I supposed to sleep tonight when Taylor, Travis, Maddie, and or George could possibly attend Coachella? And Alana fan page posted, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey will attend Coachella this weekend to support Lana Del Rey, who will perform on Friday. Taylor and Travis stayed at the Madison Club away from the spotlight in order to enjoy Lana's performance more intimately. Taylor and Travis didn't have to venture far for Coachella, as they've been mostly bunking down at Taylor's Los Angeles home during their breaks from work. With the NFL in its off-season and Taylor's Eras tour on hold until May, they've been enjoying some downtime together. Meanwhile, Travis has been juggling filming for Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? and a new commercial. Despite their busy schedules, Taylor is reportedly thrilled about the opportunities Travis is getting and fully supports him. However, she's also mindful of his schedule and wants to make sure they can still spend quality time together. It seems their next adventure together will be in Europe, where Travis plans to accompany Taylor to her Eras tour stops. Excited fans can look forward to seeing the couple share baguettes in Paris and create unforgettable memories together on the road. Fans also couldn't help but obsess over the fact that he wore the same OG friendship bracelet on his graduation too. One person said, the fact that Travis wore friendship bracelets last night. So, what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. If you liked this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.